How's it going everyone? My name is Snow. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, I hope you stick around. Recently it was my birthday, and I wanted to see if y'all can guess how old I am. I did this on my Instagram story on my actual birthday, and it was so fun to see the guesses, so I wanted to see what y'all could come up with in the comments below. Okay, so today we'll be doing a tutorial for a beekeeper's house and apiary. This is actually one of the builds in the giant village transformation I've been working on. I can't wait to have that complete and up for y'all, it's going to have so many fun builds to explore. But in the meantime, let's build a beekeeper's house and apiary together. A full material list is in the description below, as well as the seed, coordinates, links to my socials, and the links to any packs I used, which for this build is just invisible item frames and germs better leaves for those fluffier leaves. While you're down there checking out the description, if you go on to enjoy today's video, please take a moment to tap that like button and subscribe. It's completely free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you change your mind. Alright, let's get into it. We're going to start by knocking down these two houses. The one on the right will be turned into our beekeeper's house, and the one on the left will be our apiary. Now that those are both cleared, we're going to come over to the right and start the house. Create a 7x7 square outline with stripped spruce logs in the corners and oak planks completing the sides. Now lift each block by 3 to a total height of 4. For the roof, we're going to start by placing a spruce plank diagonally up and out from the corner of the strip spruce column, then create a simple stair-step A-line roof. Repeat this pattern on all four sides. Top each of the four center upside down stairs with a forward facing stair. Then using yellow wool, yellow concrete, bee nests, and honeycomb blocks, fill in each section of the roof. For the top, follow along as I fill in the roof with honeycomb blocks while adding spruce slabs, stairs, and trapdoors to connect everything together. Coming back down to the front, fill in the wall with a Tudor style, alternating stripped oak logs and regular oak logs. Below this Tudor design, add a trim by alternating spruce trapdoors and slabs. Place oak trapdoors around the bottom of each corner and add an oak button above each trapdoor. Repeat this on all four sides.
Now it's time to add some life to these walls. Knock out a three high opening and add an upside down oak stair and spruce door. Place a spruce fence with a lantern on top. Then knock out a two high window filled with spruce fences and topped with an oak trap door. On the ground below this window, add an oak leaf block surrounded by spruce signs. At the top, add another two high window filled with spruce fences. Place three oak leaves on the trim, then line the front directly above the trim with campfires. Surround this campfire lining with oak trap doors on either side and across the front. Add oak fences connecting the corner spruce planks to the ground and the front edge oak trap doors to the ground. Coming around to the right side, knock out a two high window filled with spruce fences. Place a moss block acting as a window box surrounded by oak trap doors. Add any flower, sapling, or grass you prefer. I used a birch sapling. Add oak leaves draped across the wall to create an overgrown effect. On the back side, add another two high window and moss window box. This time I decided to use a dandelion. Add two more two high windows and place oak leaves and moss, surrounding the leaves with spruce signs and covering the moss with an oak trap door. Now for the left side, we're gonna create the passageway that connects the house to the apiary. Knock out a three high opening and add an upside down oak stair and spruce door. Leaving a one block gap from the door, lift up a four high column of glass. You'll end up needing to knock out part of the trim for this to fit, that's perfectly fine. The area where I'm going to build my apiary is elevated from the house, so my glass columns will essentially stair step up to the elevated ground. Because of this, there are some visible sections where the glass is sitting on top of dirt. I replace those dirt sections with oak wood just to clean up the appearance. I'm knocking out some grass and path blocks so y'all can see better. Once you've placed your glass wall, cover all of the glass with oak trap doors, then repeat on the other side. With the passageway walls complete, we're going to add a roof using a mixture of oak leaves and moss. Now it's time for the apiary. Outline an 11 by 9 base using oak logs and leaves. Once the base is outlined, line the inside with glass blocks.
Now raise the glass blocks by an additional four to a total height of five. Then raise the oak logs by an additional five to a total height of six. Add cross beams between the top oak logs, then head back to the front. Grab your oak block variants to detail the walls. You'll also see leaves, moss, spruce trap doors, barrels, potted saplings, flowers, and potted dead bushes utilized as we continue. Once you're done, repeat this wall design on the back side. With the walls effectively detailed, come back around to the front and start lining the roof with spruce stairs. Outline the sides of the roof using a mixture of spruce stairs and planks. Once you've made your way back to the front, add a trim by alternating spruce slabs and trapdoors. Now it's time to fill in the roof. Grab your yellow wool, bees nests, and honeycomb blocks. 
Placing two rows of each, texture the yellow wool rows with yellow concrete, then start blending the rows into one another. Top the roof with spruce gates, placing a spruce fence in the center. Fill in the side wall with a Tudor style, alternating stripped oak logs and stripped spruce logs. Some of the bees' nests or honeycomb blocks will be visible, so we're going to modify the roof outline to be a little thicker by adding some spruce planks and stairs. Once that's done, add a trim of spruce trap doors and slabs below the Tudor design. Repeat on the other side. The only extra step on this side will be adding an oak log crossbeam. Now that the exterior is complete, let's head inside and work on the interior. I'll be switching to a first person view so you can follow along. Just a reminder that the full material list is in the description below.
And with that, we have a house and apiary fit for the finest beekeeper. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe so I know and YouTube knows that you enjoyed this type of video. I appreciate all of your support, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.